my name is Sergi Bidun. I'm a portrait photographer in Greenville, South Carolina. A lot of people ask me about my workflow, about my processing and how I edit my images. So I decided to record one of the videos. Yesterday I have amazing photo shoot with two sisters and I decided to use them to record uh, my workflow. I'm using Canon ES R5. So, and this is the two cards that goes. So I'm always using two cards during the photo shoot. So it's a SanDisk a CF card type B. The SD card has 256 gigabyte. To transfer my images, I'm using a ProGrade card reader. This is it right here. I hope it's visible. This is the card grade. As I did photo shoot yesterday, it was Friday, April 8th. So I'm gonna be creating a new folder. I will name it 2021-04-08. After I create a folder for my project, all the jobs, everything is going to be saved and done under this folder. So I, I wanted to keep everything in one place. First thing, I wanted to transfer all the images from the photo shoot. So I'm going to open my card. So I'm going to drop whole folder to that folder 2021-04-08 so now we're gonna be waiting during this photo shoot I took approximately 1,000 shots so <laughs> I have to go through that 1,000 images and downgrade it to the 70 best images all right my images transfer it next step make a copy of my work so i have external hard drive for in case my computer crashes it during the work or something happened and i lose the images so i can have it rough files i always can re-edit them if i need it but i can't return if it's lost it so i will make a copy i have another folder here unfinished photos and i will just uh, copy test Usually during these times, I would just go drink some coffee, tea, or just enjoy something else, or at home, maybe play with the kids, or while it's transferring. We just make a copy from the photo shoot, so now we can actually start working on that. Let's go and see how I process and cooling down my images. I will open the Lightroom, I choose different, catalog every new job or every new project I will create new catalog I will never use same catalog for different jobs one project one library in Lightroom so I'm gonna go create new catalog I'm always keeping my unfinished folder which all my projects in the desktop so I can have direct access so I'll choose it unfinish it then I will locate the folder here. I will create new folder and I will go Lightroom files. All the Lightroom files is gonna be located right here. I will name it my catalog with the same name that I created for the folder. So it's gonna be same date. I usually like to put the dates. Catalog is gonna be 2021. 0408 After I create the catalog, I will import all the images into this catalog. So I will go import. I will locate where is the file located. So I'm gonna go to the, my desktop. I'm finished. Yeah, it's gonna be under the same folder. So all my images located from this photo shoot under 100 Canon. So I will just transfer all the images here. I will import them. Import. It will take some time. While it's importing, second thing, I wanna make sure my computer did not freeze, change some settings uh, for catalog. So I will go Lightroom catalog settings for speed up my work. So basically I wanna make sure 
preview files is way smaller. So I will put 2048 pixels for my computer to process quicker when I'm gonna be choosing the images. And when I'm gonna be working or editing them in Lightroom. When I'm going through the images so it's not lagging. When I change that, so when all the images transferred, I would select all the images and go to develop and I will apply profile. I use Fidelity uh, profiles. Uh, I will leave it link in the subscription so below. If you have R5 or R6 you can download from that company. So after I change it, I will create preview. I will go back to the library. Under the library preview build standard size preview it's enough for me to do my job so right now I'm creating the previews so the whole photo shoot was done at my property I live right now we can say in the middle of the forest and I do a lot of photo shoots on my backyard during this photo shoot I took 900 images and I need to go down to the 45 to 60 best images from the photo shoot. Those are the images that I will be showing and displaying to my clients. So I need to eliminate all the blinks, uh, bad poses, uh, anything that will look awkward, I will remove them. And at the same time, it will help me to save space on my hard drives. All the previous is done. So now we can start and removing all the bad images. When I'm cooling the images, I'm using stars. So I'm using from one to five stars. So basically first run, I'm always gonna be giving one star. Then second run is gonna be two stars. Third run, if I need it, it's gonna be three stars. And the images that I will retouch them or I'm planning to retouch is gonna be five stars. Those images that I will go for retouching. So it's maybe like a one, two, three, five, up to 10 images depends on the situation or the client's needs. The rest images will be color corrected. I only retouching few images from photo shoot. I'm not retouching everything. So usually I'm keeping around from photo shoot 150, 160 images. From those 116, I will go down to the 45, 60 images that I will display to the, my client. During the photo shoot, I try to maximum shoot correctly to minimize my work behind the computer. I don't wanna spend a lot of time on retouching, cleaning and everything. So when I'm shooting and when I'm selecting the images, I wanna make sure they are ready good images. Not bad, good. My theory, not to try to fix mistakes, but to enhance a ready good image. Number one thing, shoot right way, then you have less work editing and delivering to the client.
this is it we go to the all images let's see how many we have right now after cooling down okay like I say it's 169 so we down it from 900 images to 169 now I'm gonna click on braid it the those all images I just delete and I will delete from disk you you can keep it but I'm deleting because I have full copy of whole photo shoot on my separate hard drive as backup so I can delete easy from my computer because anyway I'm not gonna be using those images at all now we're gonna go to the rated this is the images that I will keep it and store it and from those images I will pick it up right now 65 images or around 60 images to display and show my client yeah that's the images now I'm gonna do second run and pick it up best 65 images that goes to the client for display I definitely like this one better so keeping I like this one interaction so good this one so we're gonna be from those shots I like this one better definitely this one's better between those three shots for me so I'm gonna keep middle one now between those two definitely I'm gonna keep this one I like the interaction between those two kids now she's running Let's see between those three shots, which one I'm gonna keep in. Now we're gonna keep this one right here. And that one. As I have only one this shot, I will keep it. Now let's pick it up best shot. I'm gonna go through all the images. I'll pick it up the best one from the sitting together. I really like this one. Already you can see that. And I really like that shot right here. But I do like it how she plays her arm right here. And that little girl plays it right here. And let's go over all the images one more time so you can see what we pick it up. Now every image right here looks pretty much unique and beautiful. Nicely posed, beautiful looking, every shot looks really beautiful. Now, I'm gonna run third time and I'm gonna pick it up my favorite shots, my 10 favorite shots here. Thank you. 
now I have my most favorite images right here. This is my process. And now I'm going to show you how I process my images in Lightroom, how I do color correction in the Lightroom. So this is the shots I pick it up for color correction from this shoot. They are really good. I like the colors. Not much work to do with the colors. They're really good, beautiful colors. Good, beautiful exposures. All the images nicely exposed. So it's gonna be minimum work for me. I am color correcting every image separately. I like to do manually. This is my preferred style of editing images in Lightroom. First, first image, there is a little bit too much highlights. I will, I will a little bit drop the highlights to pull up details. Then I wanted to pull up a little bit shadows and slightly maybe whites and I like to do contrast a little bit and blacks to pop the image and I like to play a little bit to see remove the greenish tone and a little bit of magenta I'll push a little bit more highlights down what I'm gonna do probably for this image, I'm just gonna add a little bit clarity and the haste to pop the colors in the back. All right, that right here. I will definitely wanna add warm because I like warmer tones for images. Contrast. Highlights down, shadows up, contrast black, and now we're gonna go to the glitter a little bit, the haze to make it pop. And definitely, I need to eliminate a little bit her face that way. And brush up a little bit on her face. I'm gonna need to light up. A little bit of contrast. Highlight. I just want to work on her face just only. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, this is it. After I color correct all the images, did some little retouching. For all images, I will do the final thing. I will select all of them, and I will go to the luminosity, and I will remove the noise reduction. And I will do colors, and make sure I remove the chromatic abrogation. And the final thing, I will select them. I will and I will export to the folder. Let's go export. If I if I'm exporting, I usually exporting under quality 91 to reduce a little bit uh, file size. If I'm planning to retouch those images, I will export them with the TIFF. If I'm not planning to work on them in Photoshop, I will export them with the JPEG format. Second thing, I need to choose correct folder and I will go to the unfinished of 418 and I will create a new folder and we're gonna call JP format export and that's how I export my images from the Lightroom. All right guys, be sure you subscribe, like that, comment, and let me know what you're thinking. If you want to see more something like this, leave it in a comment. Tell me, tell me. I want to know. All right, have a good day. See you at next videos. Bye.